These are medicines that patients might be taking prior to a pituitary resection. In order to get these medicines straight in your head, it's helpful to think about all the hormones produced by a normal functioning pituitary gland. There's the anterior and the posterior pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary gland makes growth hormone. This doesn't relate to a medicine that a patient might take, but it does relate to possibly having a difficult airway. So you want to treat these patients as having a difficult airway. The anterior pituitary also produces prolactin, and if you have a prolactinoma, if that's what you're removing, the patient might be treated with dopamine agonists like bromocryptine and cabergoline, which create a negative feedback for prolactin production. Anterior pituitary also makes ACTH. If you have panhypopituitarism, the patient might have suppressed adrenal axis and they might need ACTH, so they might be on glucocorticoids. The anterior pituitary also makes a thyrotropin, which eventually leads to thyroid hormone. Again, if the patient has panhypotuitarism, the patient needs thyroid replacement. They might be on thyroxine. Lastly, for this panhypopituitarism is antidiuretic hormone, which is made in the posterior pituitary gland. If the patient has a lack of ADH, they might be taking intranasal vasopressin.